Hello and welcome. You are gaming with me, Brothgar, and this is Loadout at 60 frames per second. This is going to be kind of my benchmark test that is showing off just what the game looks like at that nice, smooth 1080, 60 frames per second resolution. So, a couple of things I want to get out of the way real quick here is that, yes, this is an extension of another video that I'm working on and just showing the different, going over how to capture and upload at nice, high quality here on YouTube and how to get good looking video game play and all that kind of stuff. So this is my 1080 at 60 resolution. And the thing is you cannot upload at both 1080 and 60 and 1440 at the same time because it's always going to opt towards the frame rate. And the only way to get that higher resolution is to not do the frame rate thing. So basically that means if I do 30 frames per second, which is what you normally see on my channel at 1440p resolution or 4K, whichever one I tend to go with, is going to look very nice and crisp. So that's kind of the debate. Do you like it? Does it is it going to look better if it's really nice and crisp? Or is it going to look better if it's nice and smooth? Because you're going to get smooth gameplay at 60 frames. But the 1080 resolution is not going to be anywhere as crisp as what you can get at 1440. Which is what I tend to normally use. Now my standard is 1440 at 60 frames. Which is far different. Um, unfortunately though, if I were to upload at that, it's going to opt down to the actual uh, 60 frames per second and 1080p resolution. But at any rate, this is more of a sample, so I'm just going to kind of base... You know, I'm just going to talk about the game now that I'm playing. And right now, in the last match, the last match was very close. We actually ended up tying a jackhammer competition, which was interesting because I captured a hammer and somebody else captured a hammer. And so it was two hammers versus three hammers, but we still ended up in a tie, and that was pretty cool. How am I still alive? I'm also running my Gats Broth now with a full magazine. Very large capacity, as opposed to normal smaller capacities that I tend to run, which is 50 bullets. I'm now using 100 on this one. Just figured I'd give it a try. A little bit of a change. The other team does have a bot, so we definitely have the advantage here. Unless we get those bot aim hacks going. But that's usually not the case. Ooh, ooh. Somebody's found me. Oops, messed that one up. Alright, so we're doing pretty well. I am a big fan of Comms Tower. I like this map. Seems to work pretty good. Seems to work pretty good. Nope. Jumped into that grenade. I'm going to try to throw that down. See if I can get back to it. Yes! Can't tell you how many times that health pack has saved my life. And now I just got to aim at this guy. Come on. Get off my case, bro. Darn it. There goes my kill streak. Uh, the one thing about Gats Broth, it just doesn't have that range like you would really like on it. It just runs out. And that was an example of it right there. And that's where you can make a case for maybe using a beam gun or something different. I feel like that's a standard magazine might still be better here. Having more bullets though. I don't know. I might end up putting myself into more situations where I'm 2v1. And with the skill level of these guys that I'm fighting here, I'm probably not gonna win that. However, I am doing pretty good. The other topic we were talking about is in the other video is what kind of style is your game? Is it going to be a high action game or is it going to have like a lot of different details? Now in this game here, it's not too terribly, you don't got to worry too much about the details because it's not like you're dealing with swaying grass or something that is going to have a lot of built on texture on top of itself or a lot of really rough texture that's just going to cause a lot of artifacting. You're not having that. Oh, it's all up to gas broth now. But you do have the high speed here. So it could be it could be that this game is just going to look better at 60 frames per second as opposed to, you know, 
30. I wonder how I'm doing on my team. Uh, we got one guy that's really kicking butt out here. Who is it? Ah, oh, T-Staka. Let's see what this guy's running. See if I can find him. Feel kind of bad. We we're wrecking the other team pretty bad, but now they're down to two bots. So maybe not the best gameplay. Not like last time, but last time was pretty, pretty challenging. Just because there were some snares where it's like, oh, the only reason we ended up tying is because I kind of got unlucky. But I think a lot of the really challenging people that I was facing last time are now on my team. Robocop was... Yeah, he was doing all right, but I think he was the bottom of our team last round. Not sure where Code Man was. So as far as player skill goes, or whatever build we got going on, I think it's definitely way to our side. Running out of range again. I don't use X-ray enough. I really should. Five captures remain. Yep. Hmm, doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. This should be a good sample though, because there is. There is some darker areas in the map, and that's going to add to kind of the murky flavor here. I mean, a lot of this stuff is similar, similar in color. Sorry, Code Man. All captures remain. We had a lot of reload time. There we go. Gats bro, just chewing them up. Nope, not gonna be able to get that health back. Just gonna give it to him. I knew I shouldn't have dropped it because I was done for. But I didn't able, wasn't able to do that. Looks like now they got some more players on the other team. Unfortunately, yeah, I think it's gonna be a too little too late because we've got such a huge lead at this point. Do a 2v1. All I got to do is take out this guy, though. Oh, I was able to get my elbow on him. Not enough to kill him off, though. It's all right. All we got to do is convert two more players, and that'll be the end of the round and the end of our my little demo here. A lot of players can really spawn in such a way that they're right behind you. And that's the end of the round right there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little sample and the different quality that you're going to be seeing at least available here on YouTube. And we're going to see how the old 60 frames per second is going to work out. I'm not sure if that's going to become my standard or if I'm going to stick with that crispy 1440 resolution. I don't know. Things are bound to change as time goes on. But at any rate, thanks for joining me and thanks for checking out the video. As always, guys, stay awesome. Peace. Mrathgar. Out.